Hey, all right, guys, we got Tavo. I feel like we played Tavo in Macro or Cheese already. Oh, man, I wish I could remember what happened in that game. But we are going to be hitting him again. And I think it was a Macro game. Let's see what he wants this time. I think Tavo might have been the one who told me to shut up or something, or your mum. Or I cheese your mum, right? Wasn't Tavo the one? W-D-Y-M? Which do you think is more fun? I'm doing a survey. If you had to choose. <laughs> Man, and people are like, so, so many people on the ladder who are just like, they just don't want to give anything away. Cool, thanks for sharing. All right guys, so we are gonna do a macro play then. You guys know what that means. Let's go take a third hatchery. On this map, this is not a good idea. But we're gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna try and do something creative here. We're gonna see, and this may just not pay off at all, or it might be the biggest brain, smartest idea I've ever had. We're gonna use this drone to go in and try and distract, but we're gonna do it kind of late. Later than like a normal Captain Dickhead harass, and I'm hoping my opponent just kind of like gets just a little bit confused. Not a lot confused. I think that'd be stretching it, but maybe just a little bit confused. I'm also gonna go for gas a bit earlier than I have been. thing is he's distracted so he doesn't know that I've gone three hatch and he's wasting time oh he wastes time with his reaper guys every second that reaper's here that reaper is not going across the map to cause me problems and that's huge that stops me from taking so much more damage oh that's that's massive the reapers even come back oh no that's the SCV okay never mind all right we're gonna build four lings at home Okay, we got link speed. Okay, extra, extra overlord out on the way. Extra overlord. We're going to keep trying to catch the reefer, but he pulls back. He does pull back. Okay. These lings are now going to run around and get ready to backstab when his hellions come across the map. We've got another overlord up here. All right, these two guys are there. And let's build some more queens, shall we? Queen there. All right, these lings are gonna go in. We actually just denied so much mining time. <gasps> oh my god, this is awesome. All right, we're going to try and get a Roach Warren just because that's such a good thing for keeping you safe. So my opponent picked Macro. We've gotten away with the three hatch before pool, which is already so greedy, especially against someone who's so high ranked. And um, I'm counting my lucky stars, guys, that we managed to do that because that really is a, a big stretch. And I think we made Ling Speed, right? Yeah.
So let's just get a spore there, a spore there, and a spore there, just in case. We'll try and take a fourth there. Okay. Alright, and we're going to try and get out the double Evo now as well. Fantastic. Alright, this is actually looking fantastic for me. And we've made it past the early phase. Now we've got to worry a little bit about um, probably Bio 3cc coming in, I guess would be my biggest concern. Because you just got to wonder, hey, why wasn't there a Banshee or anything? Well, he must have gone really early straight for three barracks, right? So that's definitely the, the biggest concern that I have right now. And actually, oh, he's gone for that. That's interesting. That I was not expecting. Banshees. Oh my god. Guys, that could be game. That is huge. Alright, so now we're going to get the fourth base. And the fifth base up. Okay, we need more roaches though. That's definitely for sure. Oh, is he playing mech? Oh, I did not realize he's playing mech, guys. All right. So, I was already going to be teching up, but that gives me an even better reason to do it. This could be really fun now. No, it is bio. Where's his bio units then? I'm very confused. Am I just that far ahead because of my three hatch before pool? Oh my god, I might be. Alright. So we're making lots and lots of roaches. We've got that, those upgrades on the way. Um, now that we're going roach... I guess we're going roach hydro worker. So we're going to make three infestors just to help get us through this middle stage. And other than that, all we're doing is making mass roach. Because the real scary thing on such a small map is the opponent's push potential. So we want to go Hive, Spire. We also want to get these gases. Some more drones there. I kind of want to get a big roach attack going. Should be able to deny that for at least a little bit. Let's try and get the... Uh... Get those guys to deny that. Oh! The Omega Fungal! Holy crap. Oh my lord. Alright, where are the Hydras at? We've got the Hive now. I was going to go Broodlords, but I think we want to play Hydra Lurker. Um, that's just going to work so well here. Alright, we've already got a whole bunch of Lurkers on the way. Um, let's try and get those guys up there, see if we can deny that base. 
And meanwhile, just making as many lurkers as I can. Obviously, I need to get vipers as well. That's one thing I've kind of neglected. Let's try and get another base and another few gases up as well. So we're just going to run up the uh, the guts now. Oh. <laughs> uh, do we hold? I think we do. I don't know if my upgrades are ready or not, but I think that's enough. And you can just see the power of the lurker here. Damn! Good unit, man. Okay, these, these hydras are going to come forward. Oh, actually, just go for the metabots. make more for these guys. We're also going to try and take that base because there's only so many bases you could take here on Inside Out. And let's try and get a bit more creep out here. We're going to bust this base on the left side while getting 3-3 upgrades. Building a bunch more drones for that top left base as well. Get a few more of these bad boys. We've got both lurker upgrades now. best to just be sitting here? <laughs> Probably not the best, yeah. Okay. Let's try and get some more static. And let's try and actually also get some of that stuff. My opponent's actually really defending quite well. Very impressed with it. Um, try and move forward with the infestors here as well. See if we can just shove up the guts. Often people forget that that's kind of the most vulnerable area. Fungal plus lurker is a deadly combo. You can see there we're pulling them into some pretty bad fights. We don't have high ground vision there, which is definitely costing me. I mean, that lurk is going to go down unless we get it back. We did lose a lot of guys, but I think once again, we're just wearing him down, right? If he would stands all this, I would be so impressed. Right, let's just kill that planet, that tank. Okay. Chase into this, you are a beast. He doesn't have detection in range.
Hydra's just kind of hold positioning here. Oh! He got the Viper with a snipey snipe. Well played. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, he's so good! How is he still alive? Especially just on four bases. Oh my lord. Guys, he just broke out. I can't believe it. This guy's so good. All right, I, I need to start killing those medevacs. I think that would really wear his money down. I'm still trying to get this uh, gas out of these bases. Maybe not like the biggest priority right now, or it shouldn't be. All right, let's kill those evos. Still got like 100 drones. Uh, yeah, but newish account. Yeah, but newish account, so one account is uh, plus 250, maybe plus 300, something like that. So he's, he's paying me a bit of respect there, kind of by saying that, which I, I do appreciate. That's very nice of him. Let's get in on this base. Pull these guys back. Vipers are just going to pull back, gather more energy. We do have a lurker over there. Hydra's there as well. And he's finally going to tap, my lord. <laughs> GG. Oh my god. Opponent's an absolute friggin' beast. An absolute beast. He played so good, and he hung on so nicely, but <laughs> I still can't believe I got away with three hatch for four pool. How do I keep getting away with it? All right, guys. Well, we're playing Leo Rusher again here. <laughs> good luck. Have fun. Guys, we're going to give him a different question this time. And we'll see... <laughs> Who's the more iconic player, Cyril or Has? <laughs> it's a different way of asking the exact same question. Potting? Oh! Good choice. Now, potting is a big cheesy, guys. Don't get me wrong. He can play macro games, but he's highly aggressive, all in super micro focused. So that is exactly what we are going to be doing as well. We're going to go super YOLO because we know potting was the master of the cannon rush. He's unfortunately in the military right now. But he's the master of so many of these dirty strategies. And uh, we're going to honor his name right now, aren't we? Bringing out that cheese. Okay, so we're going to go hatch first. Uh, which is, you know, make it look normal to start, right? You're like, oh, it's a totally normal build. And then we are going to do the dirtiest of tricks. Um, real classic one. We're literally just going to go for the drone drill, guys. So nothing too crazy. Um, we are going for the gas a little bit early. Hopefully our opponent doesn't notice that. Most Protoss players don't pay attention to it. And uh, hopefully Leo Russia fits into that category. Like, oh, look, I'm doing a normal build order here. It's a totally normal build order. Probably not a normal build order, but that's all right. All right. Well, he's not really harassing too much, so we just go back to mining here. This overlord's going to go out front really far forward is going to be the trick. So now he's harassing me a little bit. Fair enough. I'm just going to get rid of him. Ah, uh, there we go. Get another overlord down that right side. Build four lings. Get link speed. Make lings, make lings, make lings, make lings, make lings, make ming lings. Gonna try and sit on the pillar there. And. I think I'm pulling those too early. That's a pretty small map as well, isn't it? Oh, 
shit. Hopefully he wasn't watching that, guys. Oh, he was! Ah, no! <laughs> Alright, well, at least we can kill that. Notice we're stacking up our drones. We're making them all attack at once in the top right of the screen, guys. <clears throat> I think it's working? I don't know, man. Trying to just break through everything at once right now. We might just be better off doing it this way. Alright, we've got batteries healing like mad right now. The all it is coming though. It ain't gonna stop, man. Alright, that battery overcharge is coming in. Oh my god, battery <laughs> overcharge is so sick. <laughs> but there's just no damage output because I'm killing my opponent's gateways as well, right? So that's one of the big problems he's, he's having. I think we got this. I can't believe it because he doesn't have a Stargate and he only got out one Stalker and the Adept died. He actually just can't defend. He's going to try and move to the high ground. Okay. Well, if he has uh, shield batteries up in there, he can actually definitely do that. Alright, just do some nice hold position, Micro. And there we go, we got it. A dirty all in. Parting would be proud. <laughs> Opponent was going for a robo build there, but robo doesn't get any damage output out. And we get a cheeky win. I can't believe that. When that adept saw the drones coming, I was like, this is so screwed. He's going to get the wall off up. But apparently, Mass Link Flood is just BS. Oh, right, all right, all right, guys. We are here up against a 5.5k MMR Protoss player, Ryuchu, a very good player. And we're going to ask them the golden question. Ch -ch -ch cheese or macro? We're on Stargazer, and Ryuchu is really good at macroing into very powerful timing attacks. I think he'll choose macro. I do feel like most players pick macro um, lately, but I'd like to see some more pick cheese. All right, if we don't see a response, we're going to have to go for plan B. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> My man. Let's try another question. All right, this should get us the answer we need, guys. Now, this player does like blocking uh, expand, so I expect this natural to get blocked. You see a probe here. Oh, no. Has to be Serral? All right, that's a pick for Macro then. All right, <laughs> he tried to pick both Macaroni and Cheese. <laughs> you know that means Ryuchu has seen the, uh, Ryuchu knows it's me. Ryuchu's seen the poll on YouTube asking about the title of the show and what we should call it. <laughs> um, and has picked that a good choice. All right, so he also knows that I'm gonna be playing uh, macro here, but we're doing a non three hatch opening because I know you guys will get bored. three hatch You know, we don't want to do it every game it gets old after a little bit But I am gonna be trying to explode that income to just a massive amount Okay, now part of the way we could do that is rather than rushing up the tech tree um, You know, that's part of a macro game part of what you can do in a macro game, but it's definitely not necessary, right? And instead, what's a really cool way to utilize a giant economy is to just flood, flood, flood your opponent in the mid game with masses of units. And that is incredibly satisfying. So I'm thinking we might go for like Ravager Bane and mix some Bane drops in um, on this map. That could be really cool on this top side into this in base. If we can uh, deny the Watchtower vision at least. Okay, so he's still hanging around for a little bit here, but he won't be for much longer because he knows my Lings will be on the way. Uh, accidentally pulled off gas just a second too early there. There we go. That's a bit better. All right. <clears throat> okay. So 
So we're going to try and run in with those two Zerglings. Um, meanwhile, this Overlord is just going to chill in the back and try to see what's up. Going to get an extra Overlord here. But, okay. Didn't need to do that. Oh, that's a Stalker, guys. Okay, so he's going Stalker for it first. Which means we should be able to kill that probe. But we're going to lose my Overlord doing it. The question is, can I keep the Overlord alive for a bit longer? Right? That's the real question. Because <laughs> every second we keep that alive is kind of beautiful. And it is a Stargate build. Alright, and that Overlord will be going down very shortly, but that's alright. We're going to build lots of drones here. Lots and lots of drones. Spend all that lava. And my third gas is kind of slow. Our third queen, sorry. But who cares? We are just going to have an absolutely blazing economy. It's going to be awesome. So we got that third queen on the way now. <clears throat> we can put back on gas in the main base. Uh, we're going to build extra queens there as well. And this is where you say, how can we up our macro? Well, that's when you take a fourth base on the gold, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm just here making these demented giggling noises. <laughs> I just, I, I get, I get like a uh, excited when I do cheeky things, man. What can I say? Oh, that's not good, guys. Uh-oh. Okay. Luckily, he does a very conservative shade because he knows that I could have Ling Speed ready. Ah, so that's actually awesome for me. That's really lucky because I don't actually have any Zerglings right now. Okay, get another queen. We've already got that one on the way as well. Alright, let's try and cancel this third if possible. We're also going to get uh, an upgrade. Alright, let's go. Did he take the front base? I doubt it. I think he would have taken the in base, right? Oh, he does! Okay, okay. Alright, let's go lair. We've got melee on the way. Let's hope he doesn't find that, because we're going to just have to rely on a spore building, and hopefully it'll be quickly enough. Ooh. Okay, just try and split these guys up a little bit so that they're a bit more efficient. Okay, let's try and go Rotorn. Okay. Alright, so now I've got 68 drones, which is obviously more than I need. Go, 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 go. Alright, we need to go nothing but roaches from here for sure. Come on, come on, come on. Give me that, give me that roach speed. Alright, fast roaches all the way. Alright, lots of roaches in the way. Looks like he's going for a fourth base. We're going to send an overseer through. This creep is getting out there, which is awesome. Okay, we're going to get that Baneling Nest now. Second Evo Baneling Nest. Big macro, macro play that we can come out with here. A few more drones there as well. All right. Awesome. Mass Gateways looks like a big Blink style, guys. Which I'm absolutely happy to be playing against. Because we are going to just go massling Bane from here. Alright, let's get plus two melee. We're also going to get that macro hatch here. Let's take this fourth base down here as well. 
So many units. Okay. Also going to take these two drones, mine that out. Okay. What's our drone count? 79? That's pretty sick, man. We're getting infestation, though. I don't really want to use it yet. Oh! I don't know if he knows about the gold base yet. Okay, guys. We're going to send up these banelings. They're going to go and just try to get in there. I don't know if my bailing, bailing speed is ready yet, though. Mm, no, it's not. Okay. Okay. All right. He's got a big, scary army, man. He's doing this real well. All right. Let's see if we can get in there and do some stuff. Oh! Okay. All right, we've got this fifth base as well. We're gonna make one more round of drones there. We've got two more macro hatches. Making a ton of banelings. Seeing if we could just overwhelm him with like a ridiculous number. At this point, I'm like, man, I don't know what's happening in this game. This is just so different to how I normally play. But that is the joy of the style. Get Carapace as well. Okay, let's get Overlord speed as well. Move this up here. Click those guys on there so the lings don't show my attack before it's time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Bailings just blowing themselves up on Stork is like absolute donkeys. Okay, we've got another one there. guys down here. So many lings! I think we might have it! Spe oh my gosh, she's got so many High Templar in reserve. Oh my lord! Oh!
Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Another round of drones there, just in case. Um... Okay, you guys go there. We need that hatch as well. Okay, what can we do? Alright, we're gonna load up a nice drop there. That'll be sweet. Alright. Link drop, let's go. Link drop's gonna drop in there and hopefully find some stuff. Oh my gosh, if we can kill that, that'd be huge. Hey, oh. Almost, not quite. Didn't quite get it, guys. Let's get the Ultra Cavern. Let's get Adrenal Glands. 3-2 upgrades. Uh, we're going to get some more gases down here because these will run out. Oh, those guys got wrecked. Okay. Okay, that was kind of bad. <laughs> What's my work account, man? Okay. Um, these guys, by the way, are actually just sickos. All right, we got some um, ultras on the way as well as vipers. Vipers are so good. You can just um, get even a handful of them. It makes a huge difference. Man, I'm using so many control groups. This is more than I'm used to. My brain is too small for this style of play. I got 100 drones, which is probably, uh, I would say, too many, guys. <laughs> We're going to go out on a limb and say that's probably too many. I know, it's kind of crazy, right? Okay. These guys are going to go drop in there. Um, we're going to see if we can deny a base down the bottom. Chances of that, I think, are pretty low. Um, at this point, all the banelings are just going to be on my hotkey, by the way. Don't really care about that. Oh, yes. Got a lot of them. Um, bane drop just went in here as well. So that's going to come in and hit that angle. And that baneling can hit that. <gasps> oh! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, we're going to take a, a big old run by down here. Okay. Actually, that's going to hit the, the middle. We're going to do a run by over there. Haha. -ha. Okay, Baneling drop goes in. Doesn't find much. Okay, you guys can go here. You guys can go here. More ultras are on the way. Oh, hello. Uh, Alright, we're taking out this base, which is awesome. Let's make a spire. Okay, these guys are just all here. Awesome. Alright, more ultras for the wind, man.
Okay, here we go. That's dead. We got him. This should be it. Alright, there we go. Yeah, yeah, he's out in the open now, you see? Alright, are there any other bases I can take, man? I think I've mined, I'm mining out, like, all of the bases, right? I guess we can transfer some up there. But... Oh, the Ling Drops are still in there, man. Oh, that's actually beautiful. Okay, that goes there. Um, this can drop in the back again. Still got to defend that angle. Even after all this time. Don't know what that was. A few more drones there, I guess, could be good. But we got it! We got it! We ground him down. Ground him down. Whoo! Getting away with that gold base for so long was just straight murder. I'm not quite used to this style, man, but it is fun. Just the number of lings and banes running in from all sides. That was bloody awesome. That was really cool, dude. GG. Pew, pew.